children, how are you? I'm so happy that I can be with you today at this Kids Live where we can share things that the Lord Jesus wants to teach us. Do you know, every time you listen to a Kids Live, you are hearing secrets on how God wants to teach you to be a better Christian. Today we're going to hear about plans. I'm sure that you and your friends have talks with each other and you say, you know, when I'm older, I'm going to be a teacher. Or you're a boy and you say, you know, um, I wonder I'm going to be a famous soccer player. Or maybe you even think I sing so well, I'm going to be a famous singer one day. But do you know that the Lord Jesus has a plan for your life and for my life? And I want to tell you a story about a boy called Ivan. And it's called a hat for Ivan. Ivan is Ivan. Now Ivan, he was a very happy boy. Ivan He lived in a in a town that was called Hatville. And in this town, everybody wore a hat. And it wasn't just any hat. Everyone had a specific hat for them. So a doctor wore a doctor's hat. A farmer wore a farmer's hat. And the cook would wear a cook's hat. And the best thing was for Ivan that his father was the hat maker. And Ivan loved to watch his father how he'd make a hat for each person. And his father would have all his tools in his workshop and Ivan would watch him how he would sew everything onto the people's hats. And because Ivan's dad was the hat maker, it ma Ivan was so proud that his father was the hat maker. And what made it even better was that um, every girl and boy in this town, when they were 10 years old, then they could also have their own hat. And Ivan was so excited, he could hardly wait. He was nine years old. And he thought, what is my hat going to look like? How was dad going to sew it all together? I really am so excited. And everybody in the town knew that Ivan's hat day was coming. So the one day when Ivan was walking to school, he walked into Felix the baker's shop. And he'd go past there every morning and he'd smell all the delicious goodies that Felix was making. And the one day as he walked into his bakery, he said, Come in, Ivan, I have a surprise for you. And 
And Ivan got excited. He thought, ooh, is he going to give me a donut or a cookie? Well, Ivan, what do you want to do? I don't want to do it. I don't But the baker announced, I have a hat for you. God, I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. And Ivan was very surprised. Well, Ivan was very surprised. Because he thought his father was the hat maker. God, I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. But because he didn't want to hurt his friend's feelings, he said, thank you, Mr. Felix. But when Ivan put this hat on, it was so big, it didn't only fall over his eyes, but over his whole face. And the baker said, don't worry, you're going to grow into it. But as Ivan walked out the door, he bumped into the door frame and fell over backwards. Ivan wasn't sure what to do. But he thought, okay, let me just carry on walking to school. And as he was walking to school, he walked past another place. And this was Miss Anita's music studio. And as Ivan walked into the door, Miss Anita looked around and said, Who's that? And he mumbled from under the big hat that was over his big head, It's me, Ivan. And Miss Anita laughed and she said, What are you wearing? She said, No, this is not the hat for you. I'll give you another one. And she put another big hat on Ivan's head. And Ivan thought, that's funny. Miss Anita is a music teacher. She's not a hat maker. And this big hat was hanging over Ivan's face and he, it was t tingling all these bells that were on the hat. And he thought, okay, well, I have to carry on going to school. So he had one hat in this hand and Miss Anita's hat on his head. And as he was walking down the road, here came a big voice. Ivan, what is that on your head? And now it was Mr. Bruno, the firefighter. And he also, he laughed and he said, that is not the hat for you which Miss Anita gave you. Here's another hat. So now Ivan had three hats and this other hat was so big he was falling over. And Mr. Bruno was so happy he said, yes, this is the hat that is perfect for you. And he said, you'll get used to it. I also did. But Ivan thought, it's so heavy. How on earth am I going to wear this? And as confused and worried as he was, he carried on walking to school. But at school, it was a disaster. When he would wear the baker's hat, everyone laughed at him. And when he wore the, the, the firefighter's hat, he fell over backwards onto the floor. And the teacher said, Ivan, I think it's better that you should go home. He had too many hats. 
And as he was walking home, the farmer gave him one, the beekeeper gave him one, and so many more people. Esayakaya, umli mo pindo amnigo esinyes kogo, oye kuni nyos na yamnigo esinyes kogo. And as he was walking home, suddenly he heard Felix coming around the corner. Nalas kaza esayakaya wase ezo gutu Felix uyez. And he thought, oh no, I'm wearing the farmer's hat. I must wear the baker's hat. And he quickly pulled off the farmer's hat and put on the baker's hat. And as Felix looked at him, he said, that looks so good, Ivan. And um, Mr. Felix hadn't gone far when Ivan heard the tingling of bells and he thought, oh no, I'm wearing the baker's hat and now I must wear Miss Anita's hat. And then the firefighter came and he quickly put on the firefighter's hat. And Ivan was close to tears. He didn't know what to do. And eventually he just sat down on the ground surrounded by all these hats around him. And then he heard a voice that he knew very well. And it was his father's voice. And he said, it looks like you've had quite a day. And he jumped up and he said, Father, you won't believe it. So many pe people gave me a hat. And before he could stop, his father said, and do any of them fit you? And Ivan said, no, none of them fit me. And then the, the, the father said, but you, you don't want to hurt anyone's feelings, do you? And Ivan said, you are right, father. How did you know? And Ivan's father said, I am the hat maker, Ivan. And he said, I have seen when people wear hats that aren't made for them. They feel silly, they just fall down because it's so big and they get very tired. And he said, come on, come, let, let's go home and I'm going to make you your hat. And Ivan's face lit up and he was so excited and he said, you're going to make my hat now. And his father said, yes, come on, let's go and we'll take these other hats away. And children, we can learn from this story. Ivan's father was the hat maker. And do you know that you and I also have a hat maker? And do you know who that is? That is the Lord Jesus. And each of us are his children and he wants to show us the plan that he has for our life. Ivan, he tried to wear so many hats, but none of them were right for him. And remember we read every time someone came past, he pulled off the one hat and put on the other one because he was trying to impress them to show them, oh, I'm wearing your hat. And so each and every one of us, we won't have the, the same plan for our life. Maybe someone will become a very famous president, but then the, the, the other one will, will be a teacher. 
Mshambe omunye uzoba u president no mumonga mele waze wayo koto munye be utish. But we don't need to worry. Koto asdingu tiskata zeki. Because the Lord Jesus has a plan for you. Ngoba inkoso jesu inekte bongawe. And we don't need to make our own plan and we don't even need to worry about our own plan. And in the Bible, it speaks about plans as well. And in Jeremiah 29 verse 11, it says, I say this because I know what I have planned for you, says the Lord. I have good plans for you. I don't plan to hurt you. I plan to give you hope and a good future. And children, if we give our lives to the Lord Jesus, we need to ask him and he will show us what the plan is for our lives. And nobody can, can tell you, no, this isn't your, the, the plan for your life. But you will know when the Lord Jesus shows you what you need to do. And the Lord Jesus' plan is the best plan for you. And if we leave it in the Lord Jesus' hands, he will help us. Shall we pray? Lord Jesus, thank you so much for what we could read today. Thank you that you have a plan for me and for each and every child that is listening to Kids Live. Lord Jesus, thank you that you are our Lord and that you have the best plan for our life. And all we need to do is come to you and ask you to show us. Lord, thank you so much that we can have kids' lives, that we can learn all these different lessons. And please be with each child, Lord Jesus. Show them what you want them to do and help us to always be a shining light for you. Thank you that we have you and we ask this all in your name. Amen. Amen. Amen.